video we discussed how to train computer vision to recognize images and while training there was an, an area wherein you have model getting trained wherein there are 20 epochs epochs means iterations so starting from epoch 1 the accuracy was 89.87 percent and slowly and slowly it was increasing but if you look at it around 91 91.5 it kind of stabilized itself now these are only 20 epochs what if there are 100 epochs 150 epochs and i don't want to wait or i don't want to model to run for a longer time without having really an increase in the accuracy level and there is a concept of callback callback is a function as you can see in the commented area please note that this is a different copy of the same code which we did in the last video number 11 so you have callbacks function all you need to do is put callbacks and then in square bracket callbacks what callbacks do is it's a small function which we have written over here so if you scroll up this is only available in diy12 is a small function of callback which stops the training when it reaches a desired accuracy level or loss level so you can write this callback in any way you can write law accuracy or loss level at this point in time what i'm saying is if the accuracy reaches 91 percent that is 0 0.9100 stop the training i do not want the training the epochs to be continued and then all i'm going to do is instantiate a class of my callback over here and then use this callbacks equal to callback so let's do this let's run with this property and make sure you add this small function class to be able to call the callback again callbacks are something which can be used to trigger while the training is on in the next few videos we are going to use these callbacks functions to be able to real time track my loss and accuracy so i mean going forward not in this video but in going forward in the next video we're going to see how in the real time you would track how accuracy is do doing and you know how loss is doing and you can do that visualization as well so for now execute this code which i have already done and then add a small line or small function after epoch saying that callbacks equals to callbacks that's pretty much it now if you see that as soon as the model hitches hits 91 percent and again it's the first epoch so it's not going to go beyond the first epoch so as soon as the model uh, completes 91 percent again this time the first epoch it's going to stop the training see that so it says that reached 91 percent accuracy and cancelling any further epochs right and this was the message which we gave over here so you saw how this triggered let me just trigger it for uh, 91.52 so if you can if you want to change it over here and just run it once and then come back and execute this piece and you would see that oh it starts with 91 more than 91 let's see where it ends so it does not matter where it does in between it's the percentage accuracy where it ends so it was 91 point so if you have further it will go on the repeating the process epochs to that level and then it will stop at the point in time this is used when you have a certain accuracy level in mind and then you just want the <clears throat> the model to run only to that accuracy level so these are some good uh, the callback is a good function and it's a very useful technique as I mentioned we'll explore more on callbacks in the next video thank you for watching